Hello there, a very good afternoon to you and welcome to Lunchtime News on TV1. We are coming to you live and direct from News Plus Studios here in Colombo. Bringing you the news, I'm Tarush Kumar Singh. Just before we start off, let's take a look at your headlines this afternoon. Eleven petitions filed with the Supreme Court against the dissolution of Parliament. A shooting incident targeting Takirava Pradesia Sabaha building. Six people arrested in Kulia Pitiya for the alleged possession of heroin. President to meet all organizers of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. California wildfire worsens. Now, in your lead story this afternoon, 11 petitions have been filed before Supreme Court against the dissolution of Parliament. A correspondent said the petitions have been filed by political parties and several other groups. The chairman of the UNP, Kabir Hashim, has submitted one petition. A correspondent said the leader of the SLMC, Rauf Hakim, has also submitted a petition against the dissolution of parliament. <laughs> the leader of the ACMC, Rishad Batyudin, had also filed a petition. Leader of the Democratic People's Front, Mano Ganeshan, had submitted another petition against the dissolution of parliament. Opposition leader R. Sampanthan also submitted a petition as the Tamil National Alliance. In addition, Lal Vijay Nayaka, attorney at law Anura Laksiri, GCT Pereira, and RASB Pereira, and the Centre for Policy Alternatives had filed five more petitions. Now, Professor Ratna Jeevan Hool, who is a member of the National Elections Commission, has also submitted a petition at the Supreme Court against the dissolution of the Parliament. Moving on to more local news now, I, an Id unidentified group has opened fire at the Kakirava Pradeshya Sabha building. The chairman of the Kakirava Pradesh Sabha, Sampath Herat, accuses the shooting was carried out by the former UNP MP, Chandima Mahinda Soma Gamage. The chairman had also filed a complaint at the Kakirava police station with regards to the shooting. The preliminary investigation revealed four shots had been fired using a revolver. News first inquired from the former UNP MP Mahinda Chandima Soma Gamage about the incident and he said it was even difficult to erect a cut or a banner opposing the present government. Now, last night, the Young Professionals Organization of the UNP staged a candlelight vigil uh, near the Bayre Lake, where our news first reporters were harassed. The vigil was staged demanding democracy. Several participants caused inconvenience and harassed the reporters who had gone to cover the event. The vigil was staged by the young professionals of the UNP and several members of several organizations participated opposing the decision taken against the democracy. I heard the reporters who had come for the event was harassed. Especially Sirasa has been extending their support to democracy and good governance. We apologize for any inconvenience occurred for the reporter present. Some people had made comments that this was uh, a civil society event and had nothing to do with the UNP. The fact of the matter is that uh, this was organized by multiple uh, groups. Uh, we were also informed and um, I did uh, participate along with perhaps uh, many hundreds of others. So if uh, your reporter was tackled or was sort of harassed in any way, uh, that is regrettable and I hope uh, it is not continued uh, because in this situation it uh, must be uh, a little bit more uh, disciplined and uh, uh, not acting the same way the fake government is acting. Now in more local news, all district organizers of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party have been called for a meeting in Colombo tomorrow. The General Secretary of the SLFP, Professor Rohan Lakshman, said they have been called for a special meeting to be held at the Presidential Secretariat under the auspices of the President Maitri Palasiri Sena. 
According to the SLFP General Secretary, 341 seats and uh, district organizers have been called upon for the meeting. We will have a meeting with the SLFP organizers regarding the preliminary activities of the SLFP facing the election. The district organizers, the district leaders will be attending this meeting. The propaganda mechanism will also be discussed. The president has convened all the organizers at the district levels. The SLFP will face the election with a strong base along with the other parties. Now, six suspects have been arrested for the alleged possession of 101 grams of heroin in Migaha Kotua in Kuliapitiya. The arrests were made by a raid carried out by the officials at the Anti-Narcotics Bureau. Police said there are three drug dealers and three other suspects among those who were arrested. One suspect had attempted to flee the location when the police carried out the raid. Police said an official of the Anti-Narcotics Bureau had chased down the suspect. The police officers have opened fire at the suspect and arrested him. Police further noted the sergeant who chased the suspect had sustained minor injuries and was admitted to the hospital. The stock of heroin was valued at over 1 million rupees. A car used to transport the heroin was also taken to police custody. The suspects were produced before the Kulia PTA Magistrate Court and were remanded for seven days. Now the funeral of the late pastor of Assembly of God, Rever Rev. Colton Vikram Ratna, will be held at 4.30 p.m. today at the Barala Cemetery. Late Rev. Colton Vikram Ratna was born in 1931 and passed away on the 9th of November. He was 87 years of age at the time of his demise. <laughs> Rev. Colton Vikram Ratna is the father of former MP Iran Vikram Ratna. In your political news this afternoon, Vidura Vikramanayaka convened a media briefing in Horana today. We saw how the parliamentarians were being sold by placing the vote provided by the people as a bait. Should we provide power to people of this nature? The serpents and the commission crows have come out now. The people should decide who they should vote for. The burden on the people increased on a daily basis. We have not been saying this for the past three and a half years and we have been saying this for longer. We urge the president and prime minister to bring the bond thieves before the law. They are conspiring in Singapore. Why are they not being brought down? Meva Pilima the Torotur Labino. Aigen and Nette Dengmat. 